All right, uh, this video is dedicated to how to start and stop the inverter. Right now, you can see that the inverter is on. It's busy doing its thing. While it's on, it's cycling through these menus. You can see how it's going through these little menus. I know this is a super basic video, but some people don't know this. Anyway, you press escape once, and that activates kind of the keyboard from being a timed out, and then you press and hold escape, and you will see that it will now do this hold to stop. Okay, I just shut off my inverter. At this point, it is now safe to go ahead and power this down. And you'll see in a few minutes, this will fade away. Let's see. It's probably good to let this video go. There it goes, it fades away. It's good to let this video go just a little long enough so that I don't have to upload this as a short. I don't know if I like the shorts, they're kind of a pain. So now let's go ahead and turn it on. Whoop. Now when this turns on, it's gonna do the, this is the important thing, you gotta wait. You do not wanna press and hold enter right here, init system. You do not wanna press enter right here or else you'll go into the init mode and that has its own complications. I have videos on that. You gotta wait until it comes all the way up, finishes the boot, there we go. Stand by to start inverter, hold enter. Now, sometimes you have to hit it once to have it wake up. I don't have to now, but, and then you press and hold it, you'll see that now it's gonna go. There we go, we just started it back up again. That is how you start and stop the inverter. I don't recommend you just kill in the power here because anything you have connected to the inverter gets a very disruptive power loss. It's better to stop it, then terminate it. Quite honestly, it's probably better to click your breaker off right there, then stop it, and then power it down. So anyway, there you go. It's a short little video for everybody. We'll stop this one.